it's Dawn from Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today I have for us to do this cute little soap sack. It's got the bobble stitches on one side so it's nice and scrubby and on the back side it's nice and smooth. Inside it fits a standard size bar of soap. As you can see right here, let me get it out for you. Or you can put all your little like partial bars of soap in there and then cinch it up and you can hang it in the shower with the little handle. It's really cute and convenient. And I also have matching face rounds so that you can use these in the shower to wash your face. However, if you per if you go onto my Etsy shop and you purchase the pattern for the soap saver sack, you'll get the face round pattern for free. Today, I'm just going to do the tutorial for the soap saver sack. I made this using peaches and cream yarn. This is 100% worsted weight cotton yarn. I would recommend using cotton yarn to make a soap sack, just like you would with any type of washcloth or um, dish rag. You want to make sure that it's cotton yarn because cotton's nice and absorbent. This color is pastel pink. The ball it was a two and a half ounce ball. It was 70.9 grams, 120 yards. You'll use approximately 60 grams, um, not 60 grams, excuse me, 60 yards to make the soap saver sack. And if you were also making the soap the rounds too, you'll use about 60 yards for the whole thing. So one ball, you should get two sacks without a problem. I used a 5.0 millimeter or H crochet hook. You'll also want to have a yarn needle and a pair of scissors. So grab your hooks, grab your yarn, and let's start making some soap sacks. To start the soap saver sack, we're going to start with a chain of 10. One, two. Starting second chain from hook with a half double crochet. half double crochet in the next seven stitches. In the last stitch, place three half double crochets. Turn the work and we're going to work along the bottom of the chain. You can work over the end if you want your tail or you can just bring it down to the bottom and work it in later. That's what I'm going to do. So work one half double crochet in the next seven stitches. In this last stitch, place two half double crochets. Slip stitch to the first stitch that you made. The 
this is what your work should look like. Okay, start round two. We should have 20 stitches. We're going to chain up two and we're going to place two half double crochets into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. Then we're going to place one half double crochet into the next seven stitches. we're going to place two half double crochets into the next. One half double crochet into the next. And two into the next. Place one half double crochet into the next seven stitches. two into the next and one into the last. You should have 24 stitches and we're going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we made. This ends round two and your work should look like this. There's your tail. To start round three, we're going to chain up one and we're going to single crochet into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into and single crochet in each stitch around. We are done increasing, so we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around. So please continue this till you get back to the beginning and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round three. We still have 24 stitches. We need to slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made. To start round four, we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet into that stitch that we just slip stitched into. The next stitch we're going to do, we're going to start our bobbles. To start up, to do a bobble stitch, we're going to yarn over, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert back into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on the hook, yarn over, insert back into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, we're going to do that one more time because we want five loops on the hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, now we have five loops left, yarn over, pull through all five, give it a little tug, and we're going to single crochet into the next stitch and our bobbles pop out onto the other, onto the right side of our fabric. We're going to repeat this four more times. So yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, 
pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through two, four loops one more time, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, we have five loops left, yarn over, and pull through all five, give a little tug, and single crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to repeat this now three more times and then single crochet in the remaining stitches back to the beginning and I'll meet up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round four. We still have 24 stitches. I'm going to slip stitch to the first single crochet that we made. To start round five, we're going to chain one and turn the work. We're going to single crochet back into that same stitch we just slip stitched into and single crochet into each stitch around. So please continue this and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round five. We still have 24 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made. Chain one to start row six, turn the work, and single crochet into that first single, the one that we just slip stitched into, and then we're going to bobble stitch into the next stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. Yarn over, and pull through two. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, four loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, five loops, yarn over, pull through all five, give a little tug, and single crochet in the next. Again, we're going to bobble in the next one. Repeat this for three more bobble stitches and then single crochet all the way around to the beginning and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round six. We still have 24 stitches and we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made. Chain one and turn the work to start round seven single crochet into the same stitch we just slip stitched into. It's a little tight there. And single crochet into each stitch that we around. Continue doing this and I will meet back up with you at the end of this round. I'm at the end of round seven. We still have 24 stitches and we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made. Now for rounds eight through rounds 13, we're going to just repeat round six and round seven. So if you could just please repeat round six and seven for rounds 8 to 13 and I'll meet back up with you at the end of round 13. I'm at the end of row 13. I've got five rows of bobbles. One, two, three, four, five. 
and we're going to repeat round four only one more time. So chain one and turn the work. Single in that first stitch that we just slip stitched into. And this is a bobble round, so we're going to do our bobble stitch. Careful not to split the yarn there. Continue with this round, making three more bobble stitches and single crocheting around, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of this round. I'm at the end of round 14. I still have 24 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into the first stitch that we made. To start round 15, we're going to chain two and turn the work. We're going to double crochet into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into and going to chain two, skip the next two stitches and double crochet into the next. Chain two, skip two stitches one, two, and double crochet into the next. Chain two, skip two stitches, and double crochet into the next. This will be the repeat all the way around, so please continue this, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round 15. I've made my last double crochet, chain two, and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet that I made. Then we're going to chain two for round 16 and we're going to half double crochet into the top or into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. Then we're going to place two half double crochets into the chain space. One half double crochet into the top of the double crochet. two half double crochet into the chain space, and one half double crochet into the double crochet. Please repeat this all the way around to get back to the beginning and I'll meet up with you at the end. I made it all the way back around to the beginning and I'm going to pull up my loop and we're going to snip it off and pull out the loop. I'm going to show you how to do a invisible finish. So get your yarn needle. I'm going to thread up our yarn needle. Now we got a yarn needle threaded up. We're going to go into that first stitch under those first bars and back through to the other back through the same stitch so it looks like another stitch. And go back through to the inside. So 
that we can weave this under like this. So that way it looks like just like another stitch. And then we can just weave these on ends under. So weave in all your other ends and I'll meet back up with you and we'll do the strap. To start the strap, we're going to want a chain of 50. Once you have your chain of 50, flip your chain over and we'll be working into these back bars of the chain. I like to work this way into the chain because I think it gives your project a overall better finish, especially when you're making a strap. However, it's completely up to you how you like to work into the chain, how whatever you're comfortable with. So we're going to go second chain from hook and we're going to single crochet all the way across the chain. Once you get down to the bottom of the chain, fasten off but leave a little bit of a tail so that you can sew the ends together. So I'll meet back up with you at the end of the chain and we can weave in our strap into our soap sack and sew it together. So I'll meet back up with you in a few minutes. I have my strap made and we're just going to weave it in between the double crochet rounds. I just want to make sure it doesn't twist. So just go back and forth between the double crochets. If it starts to twist, you can just untwist it. Just like that. And then you'll sew the ends together. And there is your soap sack. Just like the one I had in the example with the bar soap in it. So if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any of my tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye bye.